Let's do a quick summary of the conditional formatting feature. Conditional formatting is nothing but asking Excel to look for a specific condition and if the condition for that cell is true or if the condition is met or satisfied, then we want Excel to apply a specific formatting. Otherwise, it will not. So that is what conditional formatting is and there are so many options available in the conditional formatting. You can create a conditional formatting rule using the drop down menu here. There are some preset options available here that you can use or you can click new rule and which gives you all the freedom and all the flexibility to choose your own rules. And Excel also has specific preset formats in any of the rules. For example, if I choose this, there are some preset formats, but you can change them by going to custom and providing your own custom format that you want to apply. Another thing that we studied is that if I look at any specific rule, I can actually type in a value to compare with, or I can use a cell reference, meaning I can point to a cell here and then that will be used in evaluating this criteria. There can be more than one rule applied to a specific cell, as we saw here. We can have more than one rule applied and you can use the stop if true if you want to Excel to stop evaluating after the first rule is true. So if you have a set of cells selected and if you want to see what rules are applied there, you can go here and click on manage rules and this will open up by default here as shows current selection. These are the rules applied to these cells. And if I can also see the entire worksheet and I can see all the rules applied and I'm going to just choose current selection. And if you click on any of this rule and then you can hit edit rule and this will open up and give you options to change that rule. You can also delete a rule by clicking this button. You can create a new rule by clicking this button. You can also from here in this drop down menu, you can clear the rules from the selected cells, all the rules, or you can clear all the rules from the entire worksheet. The last thing here is you can copy a cell and paste it somewhere then the conditional formatting rules are also copied into the new cell. So in summary, conditional formatting is a very, very effective way of visualizing the data. With all these options that Excel provides you, you can actually provide an effective visual way of representing the data that you have so that the user finds it easier to understand what the data is telling.